Hello everyone, I am Pierre and welcome to this new video. I hope you had a nice weekend or a nice day or a nice night, depending, depending on when you watch this video. I'm not sure somebody will actually watch it, maybe in one year from now or something, I don't know. Anyway, I hope you had a nice day. When I drew this portrait, I was thinking about something about completion, the degree of completeness that you can achieve. What I mean is, from which point do you think that your drawing is good enough that you can say, okay, I have finished this one. For this particular drawing, I am not sure, I, I don't know if I can say it's finished because I am sure I could do the dark part of the drawing, like darker and uh, yeah, I had a problem with the jaw at first, I did the jaw a bit too thin maybe, thin, thin, and then uh, I used this white pen gel to correct it. But white gel pen, white pen gel, anyway. And then I first I, I was like, oh no, it was not so good, but with the, this jaw I did so badly. I wasn't happy with the drawing and anyway, maybe to, to draw this one I spent two hours and maybe 40 minutes or 45 minutes, I don't remember. But yeah, recently I was just sketching a lot of different little things and I didn't actually like use much time to do it. Just because I want to draw a lot, I just I don't want to like to, to stay on a drawing for long hours. Sorry for the, the blurb. I have just eating now and yeah, anyway. <laughs> And uh, yeah, but if you don't like spend a few hours on the drawing, it seems like it will always stay as a sketch. Even this one, like it's more of a sketch than a drawing. Maybe I, I don't know. What do you think about it? And um, yeah, so I, actually, I would like to. I don't really want to do some hyper realistic drawing but just you know to learn how to do it I, I would like to do a few hyper realistic or photo realistic drawing I don't know with the pen maybe it's harder than if you use like maybe Prismacolor or this kind of pencils I'm not sure sure that the people who can draw it they can draw it with whatever tool they, they want right <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, I would like to, to draw a bit better. And I, I know also there are a lot of people who use grids. And I think, yeah, it's okay maybe if you learn and just if you want to do the perfect exact copy of a picture of a photo. If you use the grid system, well, it's just drawing in small squares, so it's okay. Even though before I used this once or twice or when I was drawing with the using the Korean characters because without it it would have been too hard to draw anyway and the other day my, well, I drew my girlfriend with this system not the other day, five months ago just because I wanted to, to, do, to draw her perfectly because I had failed doing a painting of her and my brother saw it and he said yeah it's it's wonderful and I didn't actually I didn't I hadn't finished it at the time and he said, oh, but what are these squares here? And he said, oh, it's cheating, you are cheating, it's not the real drawing and it's like just a copy, like a copy machine or a printer or something like that. But for me, yeah, it doesn't really matter if you want to do it realistically, you can do it just that way. Anyway, it's the, the end of this video soon, so I hope you enjoyed it. Sure, I talked 
about maybe not that interesting things. Anyway, you can leave me a comment if you want and yeah, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. See you, bye.